technically speaking, that shot was... There were several long meetings involving the senior officials and even more hours of talks among their technical experts. Secretary Kerry reported the results. We have all continued to negotiate in good faith. But after my conversations here with both Iran and with our P5 plus one partners in particular, it is clear that we still have more work to do. Iran says its nuclear program is and always will be purely peaceful, but Secretary Kerry made clear Iran must take concrete steps to guarantee that. The first test is to answer the questions and come up with a formula that says to the world, this is a peaceful nuclear program and it cannot be used to make weapons and we know that to a certainty. The goal of the talks is to agree on restrictions to Iran's nuclear program to ensure it can only be used for peaceful purposes as Iran claims. That would enable a gradual lifting of global economic sanctions that have crippled the Iranian economy. Key issues in dispute include how much capability Iran will have to enrich uranium, which could be used to build a nuclear weapon, and how long the restrictions will last. Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif had this to say after a final meeting with Secretary Kerry on Tuesday. Iran has made the choice to engage, and we have shown in the last six months that in spite of all the obstacles, we have lived up to all our commitments. We are prepared to continue to do so. And we have shown that we are a serious negotiating partner. Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei appears to have complicated the issue, declaring that Iran needs to increase its enrichment capability nearly 20-fold. In the United States, some members of Congress say they won't vote to lift sanctions unless Iran gives up its enrichment capability. So even if the negotiators can find a compromise, it will likely be difficult to convince some leaders back home, says Ali Vaez of the International Crisis Group. These negotiations are more informed by constraints of domestic politics than by real imperatives of national interest. Secretary Kerry said if there's no accord by Sunday, the United States will assess the progress and the prospects for more and then decide whether to agree to an extension. Al Pesson, VOA News, Vienna.